tutorial for you. It's a very exciting day. So I wanted to get a tutorial out for you for Christmas. Um, so I wanted to make sure you had enough time to make it. This is a big one. <laughs> They're all big ones, but I mean, I mean it this time. I mean it this time. Um, the PDF for this tutorial has 460 something pictures. It's, it's, a, it's big. <laughs> it's a lot of details. Um, so I used, it's a Christmas album, and I used the Graphic 45 Joy to the World paper collection. Um, but of course, it doesn't have to be a Christmas album. I've actually used the same tutorial to make a baby album um, for a friend of mine who is expecting. Um, so I'm going to be showing that to you in a week or so. I'm not quite done it. So I'm going to try to stop talking because I always talk too much in my intros and I will just show you the album. I hope you're having an incredible day. Huge hugs to you. I hope you love the new album and you can check it out on my Etsy store right now. Yay! Meow. Okay, so here is the album. It measures um, seven and three quarters by eleven with a four and a quarter inch spine. Um, I did the cover. Everyone I saw uh, that was doing an album with this paper line um, was using the signature paper as the cover, so I decided to go completely different and use the flowers. And then I had these flowers on hand, so I thought they would be absolutely stunning on the front. Um, so the spine is just simple with um, a little sticker and then the back is just really plain with the gold paper. And then I've got, this is um, uh, the closure, it's heavily magnetized, I think there's got five sets of magnets on there to hold that closed. And then you open that up and here we go. Okay, so the front cover, just really plain, room for photos on the first page. This opens like that, and then opens to the other side as well. And then there is a pocket here with a little booklet just blank on the inside. And it's a really deep pocket, you could fit quite a lot of stuff in there. And then over here I've got a little clasp that opens and then these open to the sides and then this pulls down and then uh, we've got one of the uh, moving waterfalls and then down here one extra little flap and then on the next pages All right, so over here there's a frame, and when you pull up on this ribbon, it's gonna hard to be hard to keep it in frame here, but I'll try. So pull up this ribbon, and then this has three spots. They're all just blank. Three spots that open, so you can fit uh, six pictures in in the frame instead of just one. And then it goes back, slides back into the frame there. And then undo the tabs, and it opens to the side, just plain on that side. And then this opens to the side as well. So not lots of spots for big photos. I left this open so that in a, a big five, four, five by seven could go there. And then open this up, and you've got a kind of like a kind of like steps and so there's room for photos on these parts as well as the top and the bottom close the swing tabs back up come here swing tab there we go and on the corresponding page so two little magnetized tabs here they open and then this opens to the top and this is a little um, dimensional pop-up box and both the sides open like that and then down here this pulls down and this pulls up and there's another dimensional kind of box for photos and then underneath is a 
belly band and um, I've got a long booklet there for photos and journaling and that goes back underneath and on the next pages so over here a magnetized little flap that opens this opens to the top and then it opens to the side and down and up and then this is a little pocket with an ephemera card in there and then this side opens to the left and the entire thing pulls out and then I've got some uh, extra places for photos there and then that slides back into the pocket on the page and then this part also opens so you've got more room there and over here these two tabs are two little ribbon pulls and they pull like that so that the top and the bottom rotate out and then there's just room for journaling on the top and the bottom it's hard to see but they're just journaling spots and then that rotates back in and this rotates back in the other direction so that they're all nicely hidden and then the whole thing opens to the side and you've got your first pop-up and these two um, flaps open to the side. I also have on the tutorial that, that you can put them so they both flip up or out. Like, there's so many different orientations for those. And then, then open it up again and there's another pop-up. This one opens to the side and then opens up and down. Oh. There we go. So up and down like that. Um, and again, you can also have it so that when you open it, they pop up from the inside. I've got so many variations on the actual tutorial of different things that you can do. And then over here is a pocket with a side flap. So I left the side flap blank for photos and then there's a couple of ephemera cards in the pocket. And close that one back up and close that one back up. And then the next pages. So over here we've got a couple frames and the frames twist open like that so you can have photos on either side. And then I've got some ribbon holding them closed. And when you pull those open, this pops up here and it's just a little Another little booklet thing with some dimension to it. I left a lot of spots blank for photos like I normally do. If I can to try and cut down on the bulk of the album because there's so much happening in all the pages, I do try and leave some of the spots blank. And then on the corresponding page, a um, little ephemera card here with some metal embellishments and then this pulls up and swings around to enable this part to open and then this opens to the side and then these both open to the sides and they both go up and then when you pull on it the whole thing opens to the side like that and then you've got a little mini waterfall in the center that I've just left blank. So there's room for well over a hundred pictures and if you crop um, your photos down then it can fit quite a few more. And that closes back up like that. And then on the final page So this opens to the side 
Oops, still can't see it. <laughs> this opens to the side and pulls out, and this pullout is just blank. And then there's a pocket here with two large tags. I thought they'd be perfect. You could fit a photo and then do some journaling on them as well. And then this little metal latch opens to the top and that lifts up. And then this lifts, goes to the side and goes to the side again. And then this whole thing pulls down. So room for big journal or jur big photos here, and then I've left this open so you could stick a big photo here. And the last surprise, when you open this up, it does that. And then these two little extra parts up here lift up as well. So lots of room for photos there, and then it all closes up all nice and neat. And that goes like that, and that goes like that, and the back is just plain. So yeah, this is, that's it. I'm, uh, I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out. I hope you love it. It is available in my Etsy store. The tutorial has 83 pages of written instruction, over 400 pictures, and um, 10 parts to the video series, so I think it's about 8 hours of video instruction as well that you get. So, yay! It's done. It's taken a long time, but it's done. And I hope you're having an incredible day. Go check it out in my Etsy shop, and huge hugs to you. Bye!